very good morning this is about the paper of ed 18 gender school and society the concept here i'm taking is women's reservation bill history and even current status now let us discuss about the history of the reservation bill then later on just we have to keep a glance on the current status as on this day actually very commonly this bill is known as the women reservation bill and it seeks to reserve one third of all seats for women in lok sabha and the state legislative assemblies and introduced even uh, it's, it's it's introduced by the government of upa in may 2008 it is also provided uh, see one third of the a very total number of seats reserved for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes shall be reserved for women of those groups so similar so this bill will have been introduced thrice before in the late 90s but a lapse with the uh, dissolution of their respective lok sabhas so it is about of 108th amendment that is passed in 2008 so what are the highlights of the bill so when just we keep a glance on this bill so let me discuss about the highlights of the bill one by one those so the constitution there is 108 amendment just what i told earlier 108 the bill was actually introduced in the year of 2008 and six to reserve one third of all seats for all uh, women in especially lok sabha just i told earlier and even the state legislative assemblies so even just i also told that say one third uh, of the very total number of seats reserved for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes uh, shall be reserved for women of those actually groups in the same lok sabha and even legislative assemblies so reserved seats may be allotted by the rotation of the different uh, constituencies in the state and in union territories so the reservation of seats for women shall as he ceased to exist 15 years after the commencement of this amendment act so now actually we have to keep some key issues especially about the analysis of the same bill so there are uh, divergent views on the reservation policy so especially a prominent stress the necessity of uh, affirmative action to improve the condition of women and some recent studies on panchayat have actually shown uh the positive effect of reservation uh, on empowerment of women and even on uh, especially allocation of resources so opponent uh, argues that it uh, it would uh, see uh, perpetuate and even the uh, unequal status of women especially since they would not be perceived to be competing one merit so they also connect just uh, connected and with the same content that this policy diverts attention from the largest issues of the electoral reform such as uh, uh, what do you call criminalization of politics and even inner party of democracy so the reservation seats especially in parliament restricts choice of voters of to women candidates therefore some experts have suggested that alternative methods such as reservation in political parties and in just dual member of constituency rotation of reserved constituency in every election may reduce the uh, incentive for uh, an mp <coughs> member of parliament to work uh, for his uh, constituency as uh, he or she may be uh, ineligible to seek re-election from that constituency so that the report examining uh, the 1996 women reservation bill so recommended that the reservation be provided for women of other backward classes that's called obcs once the constitution was amended to allow for the reservation for obcs so it also recommended that the reservation be extended to rajya sabha and the legislative councils so neither of these uh, recommendations has been uh, Uh, incorporated in the bill so then the question is the very first bill i am just uh, keeping glance on the highlights of the bill context so the 73rd and 74th amendment actually it was passed in 
so which introduced the panchayat and municipalities in the constitutions reserve one third of the seats women in these bodies and the constitutions also provides for the reservation of seats in lok sabha and even state legislative assemblies for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in the proportion uh, to the uh, number in the population so the constitution makes no provision for reserving seats for women in just parliament and even state legislation so currently women uh, constitute 9% of the lok sabha and just 10% of the rajya sabha and even 7% of the state legislative assemblies now the question is the bill seek to reserve a very nearly as possible one third of all seats for women in especially lok sabha and even state legislative assemblies including uh, uh, the uh, what do you call a central territory like delhi and the allocation of reserved seats shall be determined by such authority as the prescribed by the parliament as nearly as possible one third of the total member of the seat power is very reserved for the scheduled caste and even scheduled tribe for scst even the lok sabha and even the legislative assembly shall be reserved for scst women so reservation of seats for especially women shall cease to exist 15 years after commencement of the act